Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this loose bouquet. All of the products I'm using will be linked down in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. If you tried this or any of my other tutorials, please share your work on Instagram and tag me at Snowberry Design Co. And don't forget to use the hashtag Snowberry Tutorial. To get started, I'm placing my larger flowers first. We are only going to see the sides of these flowers, so I'm painting these with three to four petals, and they're all going to start toward the middle and then go upward and outward. I'm not refilling my brush every time I paint a new flower because I want there to be a little variation with each one. There's not really a rhyme or reason as to where on the paper I'm placing these flowers, but I am keeping a couple of things in mind. I want to be mindful of how they're spaced apart, so I don't want too many in one area and not enough in another area. I'm also only painting these toward the middle of my paper. This is going to be a bouquet, so I really want to make sure that I leave room for my filler flowers and greenery and also the stems at the bottom. Next, I'm painting little bunches of berries following those same guidelines. I'm looking for balance, so I'm trying not to paint them everywhere. Next, I'll add in my stems. I'm lightly painting these in, almost as if I'm sketching them. I want to drag all the stems toward the center of the bouquet, but I'm being flexible and letting some of the stems fall slightly to the left or to the right of the center point. I'm really just paying attention to what feels natural as I'm painting. Now I'm going in with my dark green and adding leaves to the stems that are connected to my berries. I'll just add leaves depending on how much space I have to work with.
Next I'm mixing a lighter green to add leaves to the stems connected to my blue flowers. I'm not following any sort of pattern, just filling in empty spaces as I go. I left a lot of white space in the middle of my leaves because I want this painting to be pretty loose. Next I'm adding in some little sprigs in some of these empty spaces. Lastly, I'm adding in tiny dots over these flowers to look like stamen, and then I will be finished. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. I post a new watercolor video every Wednesday. I love requests, so if you have a favorite plant or flower that you'd like me to paint, leave a comment down below and let me know. Thanks again for watching. Bye!